Hello everyone and welcome back to Names World Farm. So, you probably are not expecting this video today if you watched yesterday's video because I said that I wasn't going to be able to do this video due to technical problems, but I have managed to find a way around it temporarily. Hopefully, there won't be any days this week when I don't do a video, uh, but as I'm in the big process of changing some major components in my computer, um, I can't say for sure that there won't be a day without a video, but I'll try my best to get one out every day. Anyway, as you can probably see here, we've got some relatively big equipment. Down there we've got the T8, I think, New Holland, with the Crone Forage Harvester and fairly large Roland trailer. Just here we've got the JCB wheel loader with the silage book rake on the front, and just here we've got a placeable heap. So you can probably see where I'm going with this. We're gonna do a big silage harvest today, and this is going to be spread over probably two episodes. So we'll start this week and finish next week. Now, um, yes, I have already created the course for the JCB. That should be on course play. It should be saved. There we go. Silage pit clamping. So that's the one we want today. That will work, but we're not going to start it until we bring the first load back. The plan is basically to tip it into the placeable heap, get the driver of the buck rake or JCB, to drive into it and then push it to the back of the pit. That is the plan and that will also clamp it at the same time. So that should all work smoothly. I've already tested the course play and it was working fine. Just here we've got the T8 and the Roland trailer. It's a relatively large Roland trailer. Hopefully it will work with the silage. And here is the Crone. So we'll get that started up. And what we need to do is basically do one of two fields. We're going to do one field today and another field next week. There are two which are on the edge sort of of withering, which is not exactly great. Field 23 and field number 2. I think as field number 2 is the closest one to us and the biggest, we'll go for that first of all. That is just up here on the right hand side. So we'll start off with that. If you see any frame rate issues, this is to do with my technical problem. Um, I'm having to update a number of different pieces of hardware. So here we are at field number two. This is very tight to get into. Really tight. Um, yeah, really hoping the frame rate problem is not going to wreck this video. It seems to have settled down a bit, but it's still not great. Um, essentially, what I've done is I've bought a new graphics card, which I haven't actually got yet. Um, it should be coming tomorrow. I've had to obviously pay for an exp expedited service, which is not ideal, but anything for my subscribers. We've got to get some better video quality. Um, also, I have bought a new monitor. That won't really affect you, though, but it does affect me. It's much nicer to be able to see the screen a lot better. I mean, the screen I'm currently using at the moment, I think, is 20 inches. It's nothing really too big. Um, it's not that old, though, so it is kind of a shame that I'm changing it so soon but I've upgraded to a 27 inch which should make a, a drastic difference hopefully so yeah this is going to be the tricky part getting that tractor into the field this might not go too well okay I'm back um, that should be better uh, we're going to have to close the gap though so we need to just change a few settings on here the ahead dis distance needs to be only 5 that should work. Yeah. And then once we've gone around the field once, we'll be able to put it on our left-hand side, hopefully. So this should go into the trailer. It's quite a reach, but yes, it does seem to be reaching okay. Yep. The percentage is going up. And yeah, basically, we're just going to be going to and from the cell point. Obviously we're not going to be selling it today, but we are going to be putting it into the cell points silage pit. Okay, that's not really keeping up too well. Uh, we're going to have to put it onto our right hand side, I think. It would be, yeah, the, the left offset. Probably about five. That should work. Pretty much trial and error actually, first time round. It's going in. Yeah, it's getting better. Yeah, it's not too bad. Good. So, 
we're on track we're going to fill up the silage pit the JCB I showed you before we'll be going backwards and forwards that'll be book raking and also clamping the pit at the same time that should do a very good job that will cost us money um, it shouldn't cost too much just a worker's wages which, which shouldn't be too much on here um, and you might also be wondering how on earth can we afford to buy this machinery it's rented and we don't have it for that long we only have it for an hour and a half in real time so we've got to be quite careful here we have essentially got two fields to do in just an hour and a half just squeeze around the front of the tractor it hasn't cost us too much the rental mod which I'm using now is actually different to what I've used before so I will link that below um, this one to me is a lot better because it allows you to do it by the hour or by the day it's totally up to you the other one I was using was literally by the day you had to have it for one day two days or any time after that you couldn't choose an hour so it costs an awful lot of money just to rent a machine which you might only want for about three hours so this is a lot better the JCB is also rented everything we're going to use today is not ours at all uh, we're actually borrowing it from a local contractor who is allowing us to use it for a small fee that is why we still have roughly the same amount of money as what we left off with before in the previous episode but once we're around the field once we should be pretty much on track this is the hardest bit it's looking quite full this is where I have to keep an eye on the inspector mark because I usually carry on going and it's on 100% and I just forget to look at it and I've been throwing all this away Twenty percent left, and then we'll go to the yard. We're going to do it all ourselves. There's no point in rushing this job. It's quite a therapeutic job, so we'll just do it one step at a time. I think. Get it done nice and neatly. I know the first bit was not neat at all, uh, but that was just because we couldn't really get in the gate. But from now onwards, we're going to take it steady. All right, ninety percent, ten percent remaining. It's slowly catching up. Almost there. And we're full. So we'll turn that off. We will keep the engine on though because we don't want to keep shutting the engine off. And we will take this ourselves. Oh, it wasn't quite 100%. That's unfortunate. It was showing 100% on the inspect mod. Right, so we're going to have to drive all the way around the outskirts of the field just to get this back. Because annoyingly, we didn't get quite round. So we don't want to crush the crop. But look at that, that is an impressive trailer load. Really do like that. Very good uh, pack this is. And this still isn't the biggest trailer you can get from Roland. There is a bigger one. So that is very impressive. Our fence probably could pull one of these trailers. Maybe the next one down actually, because it's quite a big trailer. Uh, but as we're going to be renting all the machinery today, we might as well go for a change and go for a T8. I think it is. Yeah, T8 390, so that's the biggest T8 you can get, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Which is more than enough horsepower for this trailer. Right, is there another way out of here? Because I'd really love to go a better way. Uh, we can do, but then... Let's try it, just this once. It's quite a tight turn, you see, and... I uh, don't really want to jackknife this thing. Full lock around here might work, or maybe not. Uh, this is not going well. I think we're just going to have to go for it. There we go. And yes, the steering wheel is not set up properly, so the steering ratio is actually at 900% or 900 degrees, which is making it very difficult to steer. Uh, once everything is sorted, then we'll be back on track. The thing is, my computer automatically installed Windows 10 last night without me even knowing, which was bizarre and um, yeah to be honest I prefer Windows 7 it's not really ideal for what I use my PC for um, although you probably do disagree with that it's it might be pretty good for gaming but some of the software I use is quite old and unsupported on Windows 10 so it was a bit frustrating when I found out that it had downloaded Windows 10 on its own but at least it's free 
it's good to know that it's free. Right, let's get this tipped into our placeable heap. And make sure it does go in the placeable heap as well and not into the pit. Because I really want to use the buck rake. Yeah, it's working. Fantastic. So we get that tipped and once the JCB is going, we'll head back to the field for the next load. Look at the tip on that, that is brilliant. Really is good. Right, let's just shunt forwards. Move out the way and get the JCB going. We left the engine on. It's absolutely fine. And I think really, oh hang on, I might have to go behind the, the course, otherwise it's going to get really confused. We'll drive it there and it should, should get on track. I've already tested this and it worked fine, so it should be okay. The problem is going to be that, yes. That is a problem. But if that is the case, it's annoying, but it's not too bad because I can still do this myself. This is when you wish you were in multiplayer. Yeah, I was basically reading everyone's suggestions and uh, this is what everyone wanted me to do. But I don't know if anyone had actually done it before they said that. It's fine though. I always like to try things out. Um, but yes, it looks like because the placeable heap is solid, uh, we can't really push it back, which is a bit unfortunate because it would look really good. And that's just filling the heap up again. Well, you know what? I'm not really too concerned about this because it's still going to look realistic if this is going over the pit clamping it down so what we'll do is we'll just not tip it into the placeable heap and we'll just keep it going backwards and forwards over the pit so it should still look good okay so that is that done we'll switch off the differential lock and we will remove that placeable heap it was worth a go I do appreciate all the comments from before um, it was definitely worth trying out but we've tried it and it didn't really work. So maybe next time. Now we can't sell it. There we go, it's gone. So that should, yeah, that's working. So if we just put this like this, it can uh, continue to clamp the pit. We'll put four wheel drive on, but we'll keep the differential lock switched off. Should be okay. There we go. So back to the field after all that mayhem. It was definitely worth a go though. Let's just wait for the JCB to go backwards and then forwards again. This machinery is too big for the map, but luckily, because the silage fields, the maze fields, sorry, are the biggest fields on the map, I think, um, it means that except for the gateways, they can cater for this machinery. Um, but yes, it is literally just the gateways which are stopping them from uh, getting in and out of the fields, which is what the gateways are, are sort of there for, but they are just a little bit narrow. I suppose we are using the wrong machinery still. Although, we did get in that time. So let's go and do a loop of the field and continue. Once we're around this time, we won't have to go for a whole loop of the field again just to get out of the gate. So yes, it's going to make it a lot easier. Sort this out. Right, back into the cab view I think. It's much better. Yeah, I wish the base game machinery, I wish you could get in and out of the cab through the door. Now I've been doing it with the fence, it seems weird not doing it with these ones. I always want to go for the entrance of control and open the door. I think things are going quite smoothly now. I was really worried that this video would never even happen today. I actually had no intention of it happening. I, I was pretty much giving up. The main reason is because I'd already dismantled everything and uh, I was all ready to set up the new monitor until I realised, this was stupid of me, that it was uh, the wrong connection for the monitor. 
into the graphics card. So yes, that was um, really stupid <laughs> that I did that. Um, but anyway, yeah, set it all up again, and here we are. It's just not set up perfectly. So as I said, we're going to be doing this over two episodes, and uh, yeah, once this field's out of the way, we'll be over halfway done because the other one is not half as big. Um, we could rush and get it done today if we wanted to, but I was hoping to spread it over two videos. Interestingly, the weeds which are in this field are actually being harvested up, so I don't know if that will affect the yield at all, but yeah, it's actually cutting the weeds, which is very, very good that it's doing that, because it would do in real life. Um, but yeah, it's leaving like the stubble of the weeds as well. The saw mod really has been professionally made. I wish I had discovered it earlier. Well, I discovered it, but you know, I was too stubborn to actually try it out, as I am. Um, but now I regret it, I really do. The trailer is almost full again. If we can get to the gateway, that would be very good. Five percent. And this time I think we'll go a little bit further when it hits 100. Right, we'll stop there. Because it seems to overread, I would say. That's definitely 100% this time. So let's see if we can actually get out of the gate this time. We do need to shut the gate and just sort of tidy things up. It's not too bad, you do have to uh, do a bit of a bush push though when coming out of there. I feel really high up in this tractor, somehow half the vision is the, the tractor's cab roof. And then you have to look down. Yeah, I'm really not used to the base game machinery. So let's get this load into there. Yeah, how has it crashed? That's really weird. because, oh it's sorting itself out now. No idea, anyway, we'll just move out of the way. We'll tip it here, and it should be able to push it up for us. I think we're still going to put it at the front of the pit because then, yeah, the JCB will at least be doing something more than just clamping it down. Uh, if we were just to reverse right to the back, it really wouldn't be doing much and it would probably actually find it harder. At least like this, it's actually got a job to do. Let's see if we can actually manage that because it, it could possibly get stuck on it. Yeah, it seems to be okay. So we'll leave it to it and get the next load. One hour and 12 minutes left on the rent. So we'll keep going. I'll do some of these off screen because I don't really want to keep showing the going backwards and forwards process with the tractor because we're going to be going so many times. So yeah, we'll do a bit. There's the weeds look. It's taking the weeds in. Next load. Let's get these tips. The JCB is now doing a very good job. It's not getting stuck and it is flattening it and levelling it very well. I don't think he likes it when I go in front of it though. I think this time I'm going to reverse in here because before I've been reversing into the road, which isn't exactly ideal. Quickly go in front of the JCB, we'll go back to the field. Okay, I've been going for another five, ten minutes and we're actually progressing very, very well. We haven't got that much left to do. 
which is surprising. I thought this was going to take a very long time. Um, but still, it's going to be worth a lot of money and it's going to really benefit the farm. In case you're wondering, uh, because we do obviously do need some of this for ourselves, this field is going to go just into the uh, anaerobic digester to sell and the other field we're going to keep for our livestock. So yeah, obviously we're selling most of it and then keeping a small amount for ourselves. We don't need that much really, especially as we don't have any cows at all at the moment, but we will do. Oh, why do I employ these drivers? They're terrible. We've just got all of the notifications regarding our rent. We have an hour left basically. So we've got to finish this field and do the next field within the hour because we can't afford to extend that rent at all. Um, it costs way too much and we're lucky to have it for two hours. Yeah, the two hours, has, uh, well the hour, the first hour has gone very quickly. I suppose I was dithering and messing about for a while. Let's do a bit more in cab. This trailer load is virtually full and then I'm hoping we get what's left into the final load, hopefully. Yeah, we should do. Might be a bit of a squeeze, but we, sh we should still do. That's 98% and that should be 100. Yeah, really impressed about how this tractor handles this trailer, because that can't be light. It's doing a very good job. I'm guessing that trailer is rear wheel steering. I haven't really thought to look, but judging by how well it's getting out of that gateway, I would say it is doing. So it's steering on the rear axle. Let's have a look here. Yep. Thought he must be doing. And once the JCB reverses again, we will tip this fifth load, I think it is. We've done quite a few. It looks quite full. We'll have a check at the end and see how much there actually is. And then we will cover it over and hopefully next week actually, end of next week, we should be able to sell this and that is when the farm will have a real money boost and it will be very welcoming. Really looking forward to it. Well, we're on the thinnest part of the field here. There is a much larger bit at the top section. Um, but yeah, overall, we're very close to completion. Still going in, good. Going to the trailer. 50% full, so yeah, we should have no issues at all with fitting the remainder into there. And then, in the coming weeks, we're going to have to concentrate on cultivating and reseeding these two maize fields because we don't really want to leave them empty and we've still got the saw mod to continue using. The final bit, there are a few little bits here and there which have been missed but it's nothing really too considerable so we'll leave them. Um, what we do need to do though is go down to the bottom gate and just 
clear up there because that's where I made a bit of a mess when I turned up. So we'll just head down there right now and do that. It really isn't much though. You could even get away with leaving it. But still, we'll do it as neatly as possible. Yeah, that was pretty dangerous actually, getting out of the harvester with it still running. Didn't really think there. Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. So we shut that down. We obviously don't really need to pack it up too much. Because uh, we're going to use it again straight away next week. In field number 2 I think it is. Oh no, field number 23, sorry. This is field number 2. Uh, that will be done next week. And for now, we just need to stop the tractor. We'll turn the engine off on the harvester. And let's go and tip our final load. We have approximately 50 minutes left to harvest for 23. Which I think is doable. I think we'll do it. Really hoping we will. Right, let's see if we can make it round here this time. I've had a bit of practice. Yep, good. So it is doable. So there we go, that is the final load of today. In fact, that is the final load that's going to go into this pit because the rest is going to go to the main yard. Uh, we will just put the information page on. I think I switched it off. Yep. So we'll get that on again. Uh, it's 86% compacted and 69% full. And that is pretty much, roughly, 210,000 litres, which is very impressive and that is worth a fortune. So. Next week, this map is going to be turned around, money-wise, and we'll finally be able to afford some of those pieces of equipment which we really have been looking forward to, because uh, we are actually lacking some vital pieces of equipment. So, let's just move this out of the way, let the JCB finish off. Um, it's actually skewered, is there? Yeah, really impatient driver. We'll put this just in here, temporarily. Switch the engine off, put the handbrake on. Turn the beacons off so we don't have a flat battery when we get back to it. And just wait for it to do that and then we will cover it over. Ninety two percent full. It should be compacted this time, I would hope. Yeah, in the end it's actually done a very good job. Once more, I think. 99 and 100. So as soon as it drives off there, we'll put the blanket over and it can ferment ready for next week. That's interesting, it's fluctuating between 99% and 100. There we go, right, stop. We can't let it go over it again. It's done a very good job though, really impressed by that. Um, and we'll probably use it again next week probably and there we go it is fermenting so that is our very first silage harvest on Naveswell hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you have please do tune in next week for more on this map but until then thank you for watching and as usual bye for now